So it looks like they're all on dead notes right now. And that's okay. I think what I want to try to do is maybe experiment with, let's do soft sustain. And we're going to do it on every single one. Okay, so the next thing that I want to choose is... Yo, what's going on, homie? So I got a new guitar, and so we're going to use it today to see what happens. I don't really have any ideas, and so let's just get into it. All right, so the homies over at Keep Forest sent me over Apex Modern Trailer Guitar, and man, this thing is sweet. Tons of features. There's just so much that you can do with it. And what I wanted to do was just kind of give it a little bit of some real world songwriting and just kind of see what happens. And so what I did was is on F6 here, I just have the key here, F6. And so I'm going to go in here, which is the designer. This is where you build out your riff. And so what I'm going to do just to get some inspiration, we're going to go in here and we're going to check out what we have. There's a ton of stuff in here. We have riffs, chords, themes, arps, pulses. I'm going to go to the motions and just see what we have in here. And so I'm just going to start clicking around and we'll see what we find. So the sounds that you're hearing are coming from Apex. It's gonna be this chain here. So I'm gonna bring this down. <laughs> that's really cool. So it looks like they're all on dead notes right now. And that's okay. I think what I wanna to try to do is maybe experiment with, let's do soft sustain. And we're gonna do it on every single one. Okay, so the next thing that I want to choose is where we're going to hang out in terms of our key. And so it looks like the lowest note here is C3. And so I can use these to go up or down semitones. So with the chains turned off, this is what it sounds like. So you can hear it panning. That is this here. You can see that there's some panning going on, which, you know, it is what it is. Maybe I'll turn that off for now, but it's still, it's still going to be in there, but I'll just turn it off for now. I'm going to turn the chains back on. Okay. So I'm going to use that for now. You know, we're trying to just get done things in there fast. Next thing I'm going to do is, I don't know, let's see what we have in here in terms of maybe some synth stuff. This is ethereal earth and we are in D. So I'm just going to put that on there right away. Right now, what I'm trying to do is like world building, you know what I mean? And so I am going to legato this and maybe we'll go down an octave to see how that sounds. And I just did that with shift down arrow. All right, so for my bass, I am using Nolly Bass into Parallax. Okay, so it sounds like we're in triplets. I don't normally write in triplets, so we're gonna see what happens. Let's go back down. What's really cool is this is sort of a thing where I could probably get away with da -da 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 so I'm gonna try it so I'm hearing different things happening now but we already did this so I'm gonna move this aside because maybe we can use this for something but now I'm gonna be able to freely move some stuff around 
without worrying if I'm going to mess it up because it's always going to be here. You know what I mean? And so let's just keep trying different things. <laughs> Sick. So we have a base idea. I am going to bring up the tempo. Let's go to 130. Okay, so I'm already kind of getting a little bit of a drum idea. And so we could do that now. So usually what I do is I'll put the bass on the kick, but I feel like this might require some sort of different touch, but that doesn't mean that we we can't just put this on there. You know, if you are really are just like, ah, I really just don't want to, I want to see what happens. We'll put it in there and see what happens. And so you can use that for sure. Now, another thing that we can do is we can just delete some kicks from here. I'm hearing the snare go into just be like a little bit of a quarter time thing. And so I'm going to do that. And then we're going to just put it on the crash right away. I mean, on the China right away. That's not bad. Now, what I'm going to do, since we already did all that work, again, I'm going to move this over because maybe we can use this later. So now I'm going to start to delete some stuff here. Dun, dun, dun. I like that. I'm just going to start to kind of randomly delete things. And I say random, but I'm trying to keep some double kick stuff in here. And so maybe some triplets in here. And so we'll like, look at this. This is kind of like crazy, but we could also possibly take advantage of that and have that be some sort of fill that we do. Like we could use, cause again, when you write fills, cool thing about it is when you program fills, you just have to worry about the number of notes in drums. You have to worry about, okay, am I doing Tom? Am I doing a ghost note here and a kick? Like with writing MIDI, if you are just trying to come up with ideas, even as a drummer, you're just worried about the number of notes. Then you just put it wherever you want. And then you have, you know, a lot of cool fills. That's actually how I built my first fill pack is when I discovered that whole little idea. And that fill pack is actually on my Patreon. And so check that out. Let's start to add some ghost notes. I'm just gonna put it in between where there is not anything going on. I feel like when you're in triplets, you can kind of get away with this more. I want to see what this sounds like, what the bass stuff sounds like on the guitars. And so I'm going to immediately put it in there. All right, so we're going to add some palm mutes and stuff in here. Palm mute, so we have palm mute short and we have regular palm mutes. And so I think on here, I'm just going to use regular palm mutes, but I'm going to keep my palm mute short here in the beginning and I'm going to mute it. The reason why I'm doing that is because when I fold, it'll still be there if I decide that I want to use it. Hmm, let's add a palm mute there. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go back to hard sustain, medium sustain. And then here we can do some palm mute, hard sustain. Let's actually do, I don't know. Let's, let's kind of mess around here. I don't know. Because now, since we're on the guitar, we're getting these different ideas. So I'm going to bring down these velocities because this is going to be a, a little bit tighter. So now that I'm feeling good about this, this clean sound, like I, I don't really feel like I need to change anything. I really love what it's doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of this and I'm going to grab the MIDI and bring it inside of here. No, I don't want to change that. And so now it's basically this. Now we're left with the actual MIDI. Now that serves two cool purposes. We can keep this here. We can also put it on a synth. And so we can have this be sort of our intro and then maybe we can add some sort of idea with the synth, some sort of something. And so I'm gonna quickly find a synth here.
already. Oof, okay, so I'm gonna start to do s some quick little adjustments. I really want it to be a little stereo. So I'm gonna put it in chorus mode. And then inside of BA1, there's a little, little Easter egg dot here where I could turn up the chaos. It adds a little bit more width. If you add too much, Or if you have a little bit, you can add a little bit more. Now you can definitely enhance this more with Transit 2, which I'll probably do later, but I'm trying to be fast here. And so we're just trying to get parts in here. And then lastly, we'll kind of do a little rougher arrangement with this. Okay, so we built out our riff here. Let's quickly just come up with some sort of rough arrangement to, to inspire us to figure out where we want to go next. So I'm going to move this over maybe two bars here for now. And let's add the guitar in the beginning. And then we can definitely add this effects here, which is just a pad. I'm going to change this to pad. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little too loud right now. So I'm going to bring down our clean guitar a little bit. Now we can start to add effects and all that stuff here in a minute, but let's just get a little bit of a rough idea here. This is actually really awesome. Another thing that we can possibly do is we can have this sort of come in and this can be again, another transit two thing. But for now, what I'll do is I'll just kind of have it volume in. Yeah. Last thing that we can add is maybe some sort of another Keep Forest product here. I need something very chill. I like that. I'm going to start to mute some of this stuff. Now what I want to try to do is when you open up a multi from the Keep Forest stuff, it comes with this, it's like a multi script. I really don't know what to call it, but, but what you can do is you can actually randomize certain things. So I want to actually randomize the keys. Okay, I'm going to add an EQ to this just so it doesn't overpower when the band comes in. Awesome. I'm going to add one more thing. I want to add my typical little lead guy here. Triplets, and we're going to go eighth note triplets. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Now, again, if you want to see how this progresses, come hang out on stream. Link's going to be in the description. I'll be on a little bit later. But again, this is one to kind of show off how cool Apex is. I'm just really starting. It really started the whole thing. It started this whole process. I wouldn't have went in this direction if Apex didn't give me this sort of little riff, clean riff idea, which was this guy. I don't typically write in triplets and this kind of forced me in that direction. And I was like, all right, just take me, take me with you. And so uh, we went and this is what happened. All right, hold on. Before we jam it, just wanted to let you know that I do one-on-ones. And so if you need help with this sort of thing, or if you need help with mixing or anything like that, check out the link in the description and let's hang out on me. Also make sure that you check out the Patreon because there's a ton of goodies in there, including presets, templates, MIDI files. There's some fill stuff in there. There's just all kinds of cool stuff.
But that's going to be it for this one. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I try to do this every week or every other week. But I also stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on YouTube and on Twitch. And so make sure that you come and hang out. See what happens next. Come by later. I'll be working on this. But until next time, dude, we'll see you very soon. Appreciate you. Have a good one.